I have counsel in this case. People thought I would represent myself because I guess they're retarded. I have counsel in this case. He seems like a good dude, a competent dude, and we will be going through this and doing what needs to be done. I see a lot of speculation on the internet and I can see basically all of it has many of the major details wrong. And that's fine. Most of the details aren't for anybody. And that covers a whole lot more than the criminal case, just my life. My life story is becoming marvelously interesting, even though it's painful and really fucking annoying a lot of the time. But government will be dealt with as I guess time permits, allows. I'm not even sure how to say it. As the time becomes appropriate, government will be dealt with in course. These charges will be dealt with in course. I know what many of you are saying about uh, these types of charges and the allegations against me. And you know what? Say what you will. Watch. You get to watch it live. You get to see what it does with me, to me. You get to see the outcome uh, as it happens. It's pretty fucking rare. Should be a good show for you guys. For me, it'll be one of the most stressful and horrifying times of my entire life. As I've always said, being under indictment by the government is one of the worst positions people can be in. But I'll deal with it. Because unlike groveling, sniveling commentators online who've never had to deal with any actual adversity in their lives, that's what you do. That's not what a man does. That's not what a woman does. It's not about masculinity or femininity or anything. That's about what people have to do. There are times in your life where you are faced with something that you never could have imagined, that you never could predict, that you will not be prepared for. And again, I feel like a broken ass record because I've said all of this in the context of other people. When you are under the thumb of government, you are not prepared for it. No matter what you think you are, you are not prepared for it. They will go after you in ways that you do not expect. They will come at you with information and you won't know if it's true. And you won't be able to adequately challenge it right away. There's a process and that process in and of itself is designed to grind you into dirt. It's designed to make you capitulate to government because they'll say, we have this and this and this, and you'll say, fuck you, show me. And when you do take a moment, when you do take a moment, and you work with government, and you can find this in the recently leaked documents, and you cooperate by, say, asking them to come into your home. They will lie under oath to the judge. That's right, Alicia Sweep. They will lie under oath to the judge. They will fabricate a situation that did not occur. They will lie about your willingness to cooperate. They will lie about things that you said. They will generate statements said by other people out of nothing because I was there and that wasn't said. They will violate the rules of evidence. They will violate the rules of civil procedure. They will violate the rules of juvenile procedure. And disinterested judges and very fucking terrible attorneys will let it all go. Because everyone grovels at the feet of government. But I don't. If you're ever in a situation like mine, and I pray that you're not, do not. Do not allow anyone to convince you that you should grovel before government or just accept an outcome. Don't do it. Government's system of punishment 
is designed to fuck you. And it does it mercilessly, relentlessly, unapologetically, and it doesn't even call you good girl and spit in your mouth. It just does it. And when you're tired and bleeding on the bed, it does it again and again and again. You can't roll over until you're sore enough. And that's what they want you to do is roll over. Don't. Fight for your rights. You have them. They exist for a reason, including your right to free speech. And I will sit here and I will fight for every one of those commentators' rights to be a giant coward in the face of someone else's plight. And it's amazing to watch these people that I thought were courageous quiver in fear performatively just to beg you for one more $20 donation, please. It's embarrassing. With that, as stated, I will not be talking about my case.